Hello everyone and welcome back to the Silicon Nubian YouTube channel where we're all about things tech. A number of months back I did take a look at a very impressive Linux distribution, Elementary OS Freya. I believe the version was 0.3.1 or something to that effect. Came away very impressed. I thought it'd be a great time to take a look at this uh, wonderful Linux distribution a couple versions later. So here we have today Elementary OS nicknamed Loki version 0.4.1. A little recap, Elementary OS is an Ubuntu-based desktop distribution uh, which boasts some very interesting features including a custom desktop environment called Pantheon and many built-in custom apps such as App Center, uh, Bundle Update Manager and much more. Um, this is built, Loki, is built uh, with a newer kernel and X server as part of Ubuntu 16.04.2 core. This means that they'll have either Linux 4.8 or better with respect to kernel revisions, which includes a support for the 7th generation Intel Kaby Lake CPU and chipsets and other hardware compatibility and performance improvements. <coughs> uh, it also has a lot of updates, significant updates to Epiphany, which is their bundled web browser several fixes to files which is their custom file manager uh, redesigned metadata sidebar for photos new bluetooth settings a microphone indicator bluetooth device controls and it goes on and on and of course the previously mentioned updates to the app center the look and feel updates and all of that the claim to fame of elementary os is the clean look and the intuitive interface of pantheon and I do remember mentioning that in the last time I looked at Elementary OS that I was very impressed with its cleanliness. <clears throat> and I love the clean desktop look and the attention to detail. So let's get started. Here we have the desktop. Uh, this is post install. Uh, I did run updates. There, there's, there is an update manager, by the way, which will pop up a tooltip over here to tell you when there are updates available. <clears throat> or you can run it. Uh, run the updates manually using app get and whatnot. At the at the top we have a status bar with the volume control. Right clicking on it brings up your music uh, con player control. Sound settings are down here. Okay. Uh, left clicking once brings up the same thing. Here we have network. Left click and right click brings up the same thing unlike some other distributions where it might bring up um, other dialog boxes. And here we have uh, the network setup. Very simple, very clean, yet extremely functional. We can set up a VPN from here, proxy, and whatnot. Here we have notifications. You could turn them off, or we can go straight to the notification settings. An app center can notify us, for example, of updates and whatnot. Notifications can be fine-tuned for each app. Of course, it's their built-in apps, the ones, the custom ones. They can use this uh, global notification setting dialog box. And here we have power, of course. Very simple, very elegant. Now, following what I've seen with some GNOME desktops, we have the Applications menu up here, and we'll get into that soon. At the bottom, we have an application bar. We have multitasking view, which sets up the multiple windows. We have Epiphany web browser, which is the bundle browser, which works quite well, very fast. And uh, seems to work very well. There we go, rendering nicely. Here we have some of their custom applications, mail. We have calendar. We have the music player. Uh, the video player. Photos, which is their built-in photo viewing app. System settings and the app center. So let's go to system settings. Uh, this is much more um, recognizable. Um, in terms of uh, we've seen this or something like this in many other distributions, although here it is the, uh, the settings are 
a little bit less um <clears throat> i can't say they're available everything that you need to do in this os is at your fingertips but everything is simplified not um to insult anybody or whatnot just it's it's simplified to the point where um all the unnecessary stuff is taken out and the core functionality is still very good so here we can check on applications this is default apps for whatever you want to run desktop settings language and regions notifications we saw that already security and privacy chat logs what do you want locking firewall settings are all built in there color display touch power turns off display when inactive power button sleep when active it shows all of that sound printer for adding a printer uh, network settings we saw that before online accounts last fm account fast mail email sign and connect with apps like mail contacts and calendar very nice if uh, a little bit limited on the number of accounts maybe they can add we have sharing here which for media media sharing and bluetooth bluetooth support is built in the about so here we see elementary os 0.4.1 low-key or loci depending on how you pronounce it built on ubuntu 16.04.2 lts long-term service kernel version 4.8.0-52 generic gtk 3.18.9 and it's showing <coughs> the system that it's running on presently here's restore default settings suggest translations report a problem and check for updates we can do that from within there if we want to manually check for updates parental control date and time and everything that we would need to run a system now i want to show you the app center of course as with any linux linux is very pliable bendable shape anything you want you can install apps this is a very clean look for an app center it's uh got this banner in the back tells you about stuff that's uh, I guess apps uh, recommended apps so it's categorized there of accessories audio development education let's go into internet it'll show you um, a list of all the apps that are available a good selection Firefox it'll give you uh, a little rundown Firefox delivers safe easy browsing blah 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 it's free you click on here it installs can't get much simpler than that really oh it continues and continues there's quite a bit to choose from okay if we go into audio audacious is there audacity is there clementine probably one of my favorites they're all there now let's go office <clears throat> and we'll just scroll down and LibreOffice is there you can install one by one or just install the meta package which is the LibreOffice it'll install everything else now internet we went to games scroll down a bit in the game seems like a lot of them I generally don't play games on my Linux systems it's more about getting work done but everybody's mileage may vary so steam is here very good and of course we have system this would be like utilities apps on cd alternatives configuration date and time all these different utilities so a lot of things are there and uh one of the nicest looking app centers i've seen over here we have we can click on the updates tab and it'll give us driver updates and all the software that is up to date so it'll have updates up here whether it's drivers or applications and down here it'll show us everything that's installed for example if we go to app center we can uninstall it from here wouldn't want to do that but you can install and uninstall apps from here as well and there's a great selection which is very important in particular in this particular um, distribution because it ships with almost nothing I'll show you here are the installed applications app center calculator so 5, 10, 15, 16 apps installed. App Center is needed, calculator. There are no extra, there's no extra fluff whatsoever. It is up to you to bend, shape, and mold the system the way that you want it. And 
because it's presented so cleanly, I love this approach. I absolutely love this approach. Not necessarily the best approach for a rank Linux newbie who may not be familiar with the naming conventions of some of the apps, but that doesn't seem to be an issue much anymore. For example, on all platforms, I use Mozilla Thunderbird as my email application, for example. Or you might use Firefox or Chrome or Chromium or, or Opera. And they all exist in the Windows world and in the world of Linux. So you see, I, I really like this approach. A lot of, uh, well, a lot, a number of homemade apps. Here we have Camera, another one. Uh, we have the uh, terminal, of course. Take a screenshot. Scratch, which is their uh, notepad. Another custom app right there. And of course, back to the system settings. Right clicking on the desktop brings nothing. It's, it's all simplicity. They want things, sometimes the duplication of function or even triple <laughs> functionality in certain Linux distributions can confuse some people or uh, you know add to the learning curve in a way but uh, in elementary OS everything is presented very cleanly there's not a lot of overlap with respect to form and function this is what you get very very nice I, I really like elementary OS so let's wrap it up performance performance is good Mind you, I'm running in a virtual machine on an 8-core, 16-thread Ryzen uh, processor. So I'm um, trying to get it to run as close as what it would feel like natively, and I know it, 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 it performs great, swimmingly, if you want to call it that. Um, functionality. Out of the box, it will take some work to get it the way you like it, but I appreciate that because it's not all jumbled. It's very clean. Anything you do, you can maintain that clean look. If that's what you like, and I like that a lot, you're going to love this. Okay. Uh, usability. Very usable out of the box. You can do a lot of things with it, but not as much as some other Linux distributions, but I'm not going to take points off because this distribution is geared towards those people who want to really customize their Linux experience themselves but to do it simply and easily through, in this case, the available App Center, which is very good. Very good. Very good App Center. Okay. It still contains the uh, uh, CLI tools like uh, AppGet and whatnot, obviously, if you want to dig in there, but uh, less and less and less. In particular, people who are new to Linux or just moderately new at Linux um, less and less reason to dig into the command line if you don't really have to, and most of the time you don't, very rarely these days. So overall, I give um, Elementary OS a definite take a look at. Um, out of 10, I'd probably give it an 8 to an 8.5. That's how highly I regard this distribution. It comes on a great base, which is Ubuntu LTS. It uh, makes your system look beautiful, runs very well, great performance. And you can tailor it just the way you like it. Um, everything you have to do in it is simply presented, but yet um, all the relevant options are there. It shows that the developers are very good at um, choosing their selection, exactly what should go in and what needs to be there. So that's my review of the new Elementary OS, codename Loki, version 0 0.4.1. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, tell others about it, trying to grow this channel, and uh, take a look at the links below. Uh, we do have web presence on other, in other social media. So take care, and thanks for watching.